speakers? Yeah, they're my speakers. man. Uh, no. Huh? No. No. Because it's my letter. She's just real cool. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah, not she probably yeah. Come here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I don't know how to do it. Alright, so what this is. Just it's, it's open, and that is because there's no crossovers. All right, maybe this is where the crossovers were. But of course, I'm gonna do my own thing with crossovers, so I didn't need to pay for them. Oh man. Oh man. Look at the size of the spider in there.
I'll be soldering those connections. Can't do that with one hand. That's what you're going to see from the back seat. All right. So what I want to do with these, since like I said, I bought them without the crossover, is I'm going to use the active crossover at about. Uh, high pass at about 60 to 80 Hertz they're calling these base extension uh, woofers mid base base extensions so I'm going a little low with them and letting them roll off naturally I definitely don't want to use a, a passive crossover on these because um, I just don't want to amplify that whole range of frequencies and then cut it out after the amplifier. So I'm just going to use the active crossover. To get them down so they don't play uh, frequencies lower than maybe 60 or 70 the amplifier I have now it has a, a 12 DB slope so I might go a little higher I might go as like 70 or maybe 80 Hertz just to get rid of that real low frequency. Man, these things are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh man. So anyway, that's my plans with them. Let them roll off naturally. Um, uh, we'll see. Can't wait to get them in.